welcome to the nail sanctuary i'm shawnee and i make videos documenting my journey of learning how to do nails y'all we are in a new year happy new year we're in 2022 can y'all believe it last year went so fast 2021 was a rocky year with its ups and downs for a lot of us including myself but it's all right we are moving on we're moving forward and past all of the negative energy coming into this new year with nothing but positive energy. I wish you nothing but the best for everyone. Now, before we get into this video, I want you all to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Like this video, leave me a comment, let me know what are some of your New Year's resolutions this year? What's something that's on your vision board? Let me know in the comments, turn your post notifications on, and let's get into the video. So the purpose of today's video is I'm going to be telling you all the products that I have bought in my collection that I regret buying. We're going to get straight into it. First things first, the Tammy Taylor Peel and Stick Nail Files. I have tried these files. If you watch my videos in the past, you know I've used these files and I've said before that I do not care for them. It just did not work for me. These are the 100 grit files that they sell. I got them off of Amazon. I was really hoping that these would work out for me, but I feel like they I couldn't get my shaping right with these files. It just never felt like I could shape the nails the way that I wanted to. It was taking a lot more effort to use those files. Next up, more fouls. The Kiera Sky 8080 Grit Fouls. I bought these fouls hoping that the, they will work out also. They're 8080 Grit. You think that they would just be gliding through the nails, making it so much easier to just foul. <sighs> these did not work for me, y'all. And I wanted them to work so bad, but they just don't work for me. Like, I feel like my, my 180 Grit files file better than these so even though these didn't work for me that doesn't mean that they might not work for someone else you all might like the tammy taylor files or these but for me it's just not that girl so i'll be sticking to my young nails files and the other files that i have from amazon I also want to make it very clear that even though I'm mentioning products in this video that I don't really care for, that didn't work out for me, and that I wouldn't repurchase, it doesn't mean that these products won't be used. I'm going to use all of these files and all these products that I have in this video, unless it's something that I just cannot work with. Nothing is going to go to waste. It's all going to get used, so don't worry about that. And also... I just want to make it clear that these companies that I'm talking about, there's nothing against them. It's just some products just don't work out all the time, and that's just fine. Now, next up, ooh, this one hurts me to mention because y'all know I love Young Nails products. I use a lot of their powders, their clear powder, their core clear powder is my main go-to clear powder that I use for everything. So it hurt me to say that I do not like the Mission Control gel paints. I don't like these. Y'all see how much of a mess these make? They they have been in this container since I have um, since I had started unboxing and pack packing up, trying to package a lot of my stuff up. And it's just a hot mess. Like the paint is everywhere. They're not that pigmented. I just don't like these y'all that polish that i'm showing you right there that gel liner I, these are the ones that i got from amazon y'all i love these i love them so much so far i used them in a video that's going to be coming up soon so stay tuned for that but this oh it hurts me to say it because i love young nails and it's nothing against young nails like i said it's nothing against any of these companies but these just did not work for me and not only because they're not pigmented i really don't like the potted um setup that or not set up the potted um containers that they have it just does not work for me i prefer something that's in a bottle with the brush and everything that's in it just did not work out for me. Now, next up, Valentino. And this is another one that hurts my heart to say that I really don't care for these powders. 
And when I say that, I kind of want to take it back because it's not that I don't like using these powders because I have used them before. It's just that I don't get that much use out of them. This is their awesome 80s collection. They're pigment powders and this is like a neon colors. I love the colors of them. I have used them before, as I said, but... I just don't really reach for them. So I wouldn't see myself purchasing any more of their pigment powders. As y'all know, I love their cover acrylics, like the prettiest pink and the bad and bougie and all those like that. All their um, new color powders and stuff like that. I love those powders that I have in my collection. These were just a miss for me, unfortunately. They'll, of course, still be used because, like I said, I'm not wasting any products. So I will be finding use for these in some sets, especially once it starts to warm up and summer comes. Y'all know I love the bright colors for summer. Next up, I decided to include these even though I haven't really officially used them yet. But I decided to include them because I'm like... 90% sure, maybe I should, maybe I should scale that back. 85% sure that I am not going to like these full cover nail tips. I told y'all, I'm trying to get into making myself some press on nails. Y'all know that I like to change my nails a lot. But these, do y'all see how bendy these are? Like these have no structure to them. I was going to try applying acrylic to them to give them some more structure, but I just, I, I already don't really like those, unfortunately. So, I don't know, y'all. We're going to put these on the, on the maybe list. They got on this list because I, I'm, I'm, I'm positive I'm not going to like them, but still, we're going to see. Now, y'all, bringing in the big boy, not polish. Now, this one is tricky because these powders are good. They are good powders. The problem that I have with this collection is not the powders. It is the colors. I regret buying this collection. This is the Ball to You Fall collection, so they're more like fall colors. But I do not like these colors. I don't like them. And I don't really reach for them. Like that high life color, that green color that's over there in the corner, that one is really pretty. I would reach for that one. This royalty color, I've used that one in the set. Y'all have saw it in the animal print set that I did. I'm going to link that one in the cards. But I don't know. This collection just doesn't do it for me. I wish that I would have gotten their tropical collection. I forget the exact name of it, but it's more like bright, summery colors. This one just didn't do it for me, unfortunately. Now, I have talked about this monomer before in my review of the Valentino Beginner Kit. This is the Valentino Beauty Pure Acrylic Nail Liquid. I hate this stuff. It stinks. I don't like the way it works with acrylic. Y'all know how I feel about this. I don't like it. I wouldn't repurchase it. No. Next up is the Soak Off Bowls. I got these off of Amazon and I should have known better because they are plastic, but I try to use these to soak off acrylic using acetone and that acetone ate through this, which like I said, I should have known better because they are plastic and acetone will eat through that. But from what I saw on the Amazon listing, it was saying that these were good to use with acetone. So I thought it was acetone resistant or something like that, but clearly not. So this is something that I do regret purchasing. It came in a set of two. It didn't cost that much, so I'm not mad about it. But I'll probably use it for something else, but I would not repurchase another one. Now, last but not least, and I saved this for last because this is the one where I would not, personally would not purchase anything from this company ever again. I just wouldn't. This is my Alpha Brush acrylic brush this is my og brush y'all if you've been watching my channel this is one of the brushes that i used to use when i first started my channel before i started my channel the first brush that i had ever purchased was a number eight alpha kalinsky brush 
Y'all, these brushes for me were terrible. They did not hold up at all. They, they, they literally came to me not working well. At least these number nines did. The number eight, that one was okay for a little while, but then that one ended up acting up. But these number nine brushes that I have right here, a mess. Now this number nine brush that I have here, this is actually a, the second one that I had of this brush. I had purchased one and it came to me damaged and I had to reach out to the company. They ended up sending me this one out and it still was a mess. So I don't know if it's just something, I just got some bad brushes or what, but I, I don't know. I won't be repurchasing though, personally. It just did not work out for me. I actually did have one of their 3D art brushes. Even that brush wasn't really good. So yeah, personally, out of all the products that I've mentioned in this video, this is one company that I wouldn't repurchase any products from. Some of the other companies that I mentioned in this video, I do have other products from them that I use a lot and I will continue to use, but this company, it's just not going to work out for me. That is all that I have today. Thank you all for watching. I really appreciate it. Happy New Year again. And I will talk to y'all later. Believe me. Because you always want to touch me. My thorns will leave you bleeding. That's why I'm always leaving.